book of Sirach, also known as the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 11, verse 26, and it reads, For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. Hey, Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, brothers. And Shalom to you, Akwaf. Shalom to you, sisters. You know, it's going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And uh, it's an easy thing, man. And the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways, man. Can you see? There's nothing hard about it. Right, the Lord ain't sitting up there scratching his head, you know. Nah, it's an easy thing, man. You see that? You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites, because that's who you are, according to the scriptures. It's an easy thing, man. And as you see it more and more and more, right, a lot of people are dying out there, man. Right, whether it's act by accident or just gun violence, man. You see, and this is why we should definitely repent in these times that we're living in, man. You see that? Because we are in some evil times, you know, and, and if you don't agree with that, then, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. you just walking around with your legs, with your head between your legs, man. All right? So I'm just going to jump right in there. I got a few precepts, and also I got another article, and that's going to end this lesson, man. Listen to this. Tonight, police say the victim of a shooting inside a Lauderdale Lakes Walmart has died. The barrage of gunfire sent people running and ducking for cover. Mm. The accused shooter is now in custody. But tonight, shaken witnesses wonder about their safety and a new statistic that raises more concerns. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is in Lauderdale Lakes with the story. Listen to this. They stuck around past sunset, detectives working to close a terrifying mid-afternoon shooting inside this Lauderdale Lakes Walmart. I'm 70 years old. I had never experienced that like that in my whole life. It was so scary. Shoppers and employees heard gunfire inside near the dairy section. I just mean, I, I got out of there. Yeah. Did you hear that? It was inside the, the damn delicatessen, right? Short for dairy, or uh, the real word for uh, dairy is delicatessen. They was inside the delicatessen area and heard gunshots, man. You see that? You had old women like this right here, right? Running for their life, man. You see? Now, I want to say something here, man. You know, this king or this gospel has been preached. Everybody and their mom right has heard about the hebrew israelites you see that so the lord is literally making it when no one is having an excuse you see you know so jake you know i guess it was two guys and you could tell it, it, was, it was you israelites right went inside of walmart and one guy got destroyed man you see and this is why we teach our people to pray and to repent you know, scriptures tell you not to, you know, scriptures tell you thou shalt not kill, but a lot of people, you know, they don't want to hear us, man. All right? They think that we're bugged out until something like this happens. And we all go to Walmart, man, and other, you know, big, big, uh, big stores. Let's keep going here. Senior dropped her cane instead of the paperback books in her hand and hey. tried to sprint off, too. I can barely walk without a cane. I couldn't run. And so I was trying to walk real fast, and my heart was beating real fast. I thought I was going to pass out. Instead, mm. she huddled in a tire shop with others while Broward County Sheriff deputies and paramedics rushed in. We just heard we some screaming them. and whatever. Bop, 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 bop. And, and, and after that, we heard some gunshots. Invest see, and our people, they're not thinking about repenting. You see that? That could have been them. You know, it could be any one of us. You see? You know, so me, a man like myself, this is why, you know, before I go inside uh, 
And again, I'm a messanthrope, man. I really don't like to be around people like that. If you don't know what a messanthrope is, just look it up, man. Right? But I don't really like to be around people, but I got to go out there and, you know, uh, 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 deal with, the, you know, deal with individuals, man. We all do. Right? And Jake could bug out, you know, while you inside Target some damn where. And yeah, man. You know? So this is why we tell our people, man, to pray and repent. Let's go ahead and grab a scripture here real quick, man. You know, nothing long, nothing deep. All right? Just a few scriptures. You know, because people, you know, they love to say, you know, well, it was in, listen to this. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 14. It reads, prosperity and adversity. You see that? So when you're prosperous out here or, you know, you're going through things, life and death. You see that? So if you live, which I hope that you brothers and you few sisters are that listen to this lesson, and death, you see that? Poverty and riches, you see that? Come from who? Come from the Lord, you see that? So this is why we should give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, no matter what we're going through, man. Right? Because, hey, man, you know, I mean, it, it, it could be your day. That guy there that got killed in Walmart, he could have ran across the videos, but he wanted to be wicked, right? And start arguing with another Jake inside Walmart, man, and look what happened to him, man. You see? So this is why, right, we pushing these, pushing these lessons out here for you brothers and you few sisters to repent, man. Right? Let's keep going here, man. Whatever. Look. And after that, we heard some gunshots. Investigators say a man in dark clothes shot another man, then took off on a scooter. The victim died hours later. In between, store employees and customers waited and wondered when authorities would catch the shooter, which they did before rush hour. I don't think that this particular situation, um, unfortunately, uh, is Listen to this. unique. But uh, it just reminds us all that everyone has to be on watch at all times. This shooting comes... See? It's not unique, man. Right? It's not unique. Back then, it was unheard of that this stuff was happening. But now, it's happening, man. Here's the good part, though. Listen to this. Days after the Gun Violence Archive published data online that found an average of 115 people dying each day from uh, gun 115 people dying each day. That's a lot of people that are dying behind just gun violence, man. So the Lord is doing a number on you wicked individuals out there, man. He is. He, he, he really is, man. Right? That's a lot of people that are being destroyed. We, can't, we cannot keep up, man, on these articles here, man. You see that? But, and this is why we're telling you individuals to repent. 115 people each day are dying, man, behind. And it's only going to get worse. You see that? It's only going to get worse. So this is why we're telling you individuals, man, to choose life, man. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab that scripture real quick, man. Right, we're telling you individuals to choose life. Let's grab that. Let's, let's, let's read this one first. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, and I'm going to read verse 19. It reads, I have called heaven and earth to record this day against you. Against who? Against you Israelites, man. Right? Soon when I do a lesson, somebody car alarm want to go off. Anyway. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 I call heaven and earth to record this day against you talk about you Israelites that I have set before you life and death you see so hey man everybody has a choice you see that now of course you know we don't have no free will right because if it's your time to go everybody wants to live to be 100 or 200 a years old man showing you what that you don't have no control over your life but you can make a decision man you see that either you want to be wicked right you can be wicked but just know right that that road is 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 always a short road man you see that or you can do your best to pray and repent and to turn back to the god of the bible Yahweh, you see that? And call on, on his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, man. You see that? So you have a choice, man, to choose life and death. 
Keep going. Blessings and cursings. Therefore, choose life. You see, and this is what we're, what we're telling you individuals out there, man. To choose life, man. Choose life. You can't be you, you can't be wicked out here, right? And think that you're gonna keep living. You see, because that day is is man. Keep going. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may what? May live. You see that? And you see it. A lot of you Israelites out there are being destroyed. All right? And it, it, it's going to get worse, man. It's going to get worse. Let's read the next precept. This is the book of Sirach, also known as the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 15, verse 17. And it reads, before man, right? Man and woman. Before man is life and death death do you see that and whether him liking shall be given him you see that so whatever you like right if you like a life you know you're gonna receive it man but if you like death walking you know being wicked and bugged out you know you're cho you're gonna choose death you see that and it's gonna be given unto you man you see so this is why we should repent Let's go ahead and, uh, so you pretty much get it, man, you know. Let me see here, Salaki. You pretty much get it. But I did want to go back on those statistics a little bit here. 15 people dying each day from gun violence in America. The research ranks Florida among the leaders. In the last two weeks, Broward County's online crime map shows seven homicides. That's more than the previous seven weeks combined. Those who ran from... So you pretty much get it. You know, I got another article I want to go into. We're telling you individuals out there to choose life, right? But Jake is being bugged out, man. Let me see here. Shalak here. <clears throat> Let's go back. Now YouTube is bugging out. There is something else that I did want to bring out. Oh, here it is right here. The water you have. Listen to this, man. You have faced our worst. The 24-year-old female officer had just left work when she was shot to death early this morning in the Avalon Park neighborhood. Fox 32's Nate Rogers has been following this tragic story all day. It is here with the latest. Nate? A devastating, heartbreaking tragedy indeed right now, Mayor Lightfoot says. The family is requesting privacy at this time. Chicago police not releasing a lot of de details or specifics just yet. We do know that detectives are working to learn if the victim was targeted or if this was a random robbery. Loved ones grief-stricken and heartbroken outside UFC Hospital. One of Chicago's bravest killed right in front of her own home. 80% Blackstone, we got a person shot. It's an officer. Get an ambulance here now. Police responded to a shot spotter alert. Multiple gunshots were heard. 24-year-old Ariana Preston was found late. See that? Me? <sighs> Telling you individuals out there to choose life, man. But, you know. In the front yard. Sources say her service weapon and badge were missing. The officer picked our officer up. Put him back with a squad car and immediately brought to University of Chicago Hospital where she succumbed to her wounds early this morning. It happened here at 81st and Blackstone just before 1.45 a.m. Interim Police Superintendent Eric Carter says Preston had just finished her work shift. Right now, we ask that you keep the officer and her family in, in, in your prayers. Preston works Nah, for the let's find out what the scriptures say about that, man. All right? Let's, you know, keeping people in our prayers. Nope. Let's see what the scripture got to say about that. All right? Let's see what the scripture say about that, man. You individuals that's being wicked, you know, you want to be a part of this. Anyway, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 16, it reads, Therefore, right, pray not thou for this people. You see that? So... You want to be wicked, you know, you want to be police officer and, uh, and all of that, you know, because you know what them cops do out there, man. They target you Israelites and you want to be a part of that. You can't be upset if somebody targets you, man. But ultimately, it was the Lord that targeted that woman, man. It was her time to go. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 16. Therefore, pray not thou for this people. Neither lift up cried nor prayer for them. You see that? And you saw people crying and all of that, you know. And 
you know, the, the true man of the Lord. Anyway, let's keep going here. Neither make intercession to me, for I would not hear thee. You see that? So even if we did pray, right, to the Lord, the Lord ain't going to hear us anyway, man. Why? Because these people were being wicked, man. You see, and this is why she was put to death. Don't nobody just die being innocent. Job chapter 4, verse 7, man, tells you that. You see, don't nobody just up and just die. Oh, it was a good person. Nah, man. All right, so let's go back to the article. I got a few more, and I'm going to end this lesson, man. I don't want it to be long. Now, we ask that you keep the officer and her family in, in, in your prayers. Preston worked for the department for three years. Loyola University confirming she was on track to graduate May 13th with a master's of jurisprudence from the School of Law. Mm. Mayor Lightfoot speaking with family members earlier in the day, saying their lives are shattered. When I got the call this morning, I wasn't just a mayor. <laughs> She's bugged out. I was a mom. And thinking about what the parents of this young officer would be feeling today. Mm. So, you know, you pretty much get it. I'm not going to go no further there. All right? Let's see here. I'm not going to go no further right now. Let's bring out a few more precepts and I'm going to end this lesson. Dozens of Chicago police join the procession on yeah. Let's bring out a few more. Because Osme, we're telling you individuals, man, to, to repent, man. Let's read this here. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 68, verse 20. And it reads, He that is our God is the God of salvation. You see that? So, you know, we all know. We all, we all should know this, man. You see that? And unto our power, Yahweh, right? The Lord belongeth the issues from death. You see that? So you got a problem with people that are being destroyed, right? Put it up with the Lord, man. You see? So, you know, we're telling you individuals out there, man, to repent. And if you don't want to repent, right, one day you may find yourself, right, on, on the, in the grass or on the concrete shivering and shaking, man, with several gunshot wounds. You see? You know, because again, everybody has heard this. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and grab the let's go ahead and grab this, this precept. Because everybody has heard about, about the Hebrew Israelites, you know, people call us bums and all of that. I make a lot of damn money. I'm I'm far from a bum. You see that? And a lot of other brothers that I know too. Let's read this here. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, and I'm gonna start at verse 30. And it says, Also thou son of man. The children of thy people, talk about who, you Israelites, still are talking against thee, right? And, it, and this will be our people to do, man. They talk against us, man. By the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one another, everyone to his brother saying, come, I pray you, and hear the word, <coughs> and hear the word, which is the word that cometh forth, from the Lord, you see that? So you got a lot of people that flock to our videos, man, and listen to what we got to say. They want to be entertained and all of that, right? They think that we're here to entertain them, right? Who I, I want to know who got put to death next or who being rebuked next, right? You got a lot of people that do that, man, right? They hear the words, but they don't do them, man. You see? Still got people that watch the videos and don't repent. So what do you think that's going to lead up to? Anyway, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 31, it reads, And they come unto thee as a people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear the words, right? Listen to this. They hear the words, but they will not do them. You see? So, it's, it, hey, man, it's a lot, a lot of you individuals out there, right? They come and hear the words, and we're telling you to repent. Right? To seek the Lord, to call on the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Right? To have faith. But our people, they don't do them, man. You see that? Continue on. For with their mouth they shew much love, but their heart goeth after covetousness. You see that? So you got a lot of people that's in the spirit, man. All right, let's keep going here. And lo, thou art, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that playeth and uh, socket it, playeth. I'm going to read that again. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 32, and it reads, And lo, thou art unto them, right, 
as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice. You see, so our people, right, they come and listen to it. They like the way we go into the scriptures. They like the way that we, you know, uh, uh, bring out different articles and all of that, right? And can play well on an instrument. For they hear thy words, but they do them not. You see? So our people, they, they, yeah, man. Right? A lot of you individuals out there just want to be entertained, but it's okay. Right? Because when you individuals out there get destroyed, right? You just, uh, you just give us content to do a lesson on, man. You see? Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. And when this coming to pass... Lo, it will come. You see that? Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. You see that? So all you, so all you brothers that's doing videos, right? You brothers that's doing videos, and you got people that watch your videos and all of that. They're gonna know when, when things get bad out here. They're gonna know that a prophet was among them, man. And who is the prophet? You brothers that's out here teaching in truth. Righteousness and sincerity, calling worship on the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So you individuals out there that's watching the videos and you're not taking heed to what we're telling you, you're gonna know, right, during the day of your calamity that 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 you were amongst the prophet, man. You see? Let's go ahead and bring in one more precept, man. I'm gonna shut it down, man. All right. Let's read this here, cause you you individuals out there repent, man. Whether you choose to do so or not, our hands are clean. This is the book of Job, chapter 19, verse 29. Be ye afraid of the sword. You see that? We're telling you individuals, right, to be afraid of the sword, man. Right? And who has control of the sword? Yahweh. For wrath bringeth the punishment of the sword, you see, that they may know there is a judgment. You see that? So we're telling you individuals out there to repent, man, because judgment is going forth out there. You see? So, you know, this is a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, awesome. we're telling you individuals out there to seek the Lord, man, and to repent. Until the next time I say, Shalom. Koh, Halayim La, Ahalayanawa, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.